you're tuning in. I wanted to put together a weekend vlog of fall inspired things. I am in the process of sort of, you know, building back some good habits and getting everything back on track, but it's at a great time because the seasons are changing, which means that there's all sorts of other exciting change that comes with that. So today I want to go through all of my clothes and switch out my summer wardrobe for my fall winter wardrobe. Um, I got some gift cards for my birthday and we just got a Dillard's uh, that opened a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna go hit that up and add to my fall winter wardrobe. Um, and then there are some fun recipes that I wanna try. So I thought I'd take you along with me. I made um, a mango peach superfoods green smoothie. It's got Tropica protein and superfood greens plus deep powder. I love Tropica so much. They're a company out of Australia and I, I think maybe three Christmases ago, my mom got me like a starter kit and I've been hooked ever since. So I have almost all of their superfood powders. I have tried their teas. I love their protein. Uh, they have different vitamins and they have matcha, which I drink matcha almost every morning. Uh, they're just a really awesome company and um, they have amazing quality, clean products. All of their protein is pea powder, pea powder protein. And yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with it. So I spent the morning cleaning the house. I've got a bunch of laundry going, which is awesome. And I'm sort of going through my clothes as I'm putting laundry away. Uh, which is great, so that will be done pretty quick. I'm really excited about that. And um, yeah, I'm just finishing up getting ready to you know, go out in public and uh, run some errands and hit up Dillard's. So I'm just finishing up my makeup and I wanted to share this product that I found. Um, it's called Refi and I'll insert here or here uh, pictures of these models, but I totally fell for the Instagram ads and um, they have this, these like crazy, amazing looking eyebrows and I wanted to test it out for myself. So I bought the product. The owner of this company is a model for White Fox Boutique, which is a store that I'm obsessed with also. Uh, so I started following her on Instagram and then saw that she had her own company. So that is this Refi. The brow kit is three, a three piece kit. And this is really cool. So I, I watched a bunch of Instagram videos and I don't know, we'll, we'll try it out for myself and see if it works, but this is the gel and whoop, it's like, like a glue. Okay. I don't know if my brows are really like quite, ah, <laughs> quite long enough for this, but it's meant to like, Laminate them upwards. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. There we go. Push up. Um, <clears throat> and then you take this and you just pop the lid off and you have two other brushes. So it says to let this dry a little bit and then you can brush over it. So we'll give that a little moment. Um, and then this is the pomade, which is also like the the creativity in this product is amazing. This is the little pomade pot. So this is all the makeup. And then on the other side is this awesome brush. <sighs> Try to make them as even as I can. Okay, so that's the pomade. And then the next product, again, is awesome. And it's a little pencil. So one side is a spoolie and then the other side is the pencil. And that's just for like fine details, I guess. So now on all the Instagram ads, it's like the moment of truth is they take this brush and just like fluff everything up. So we're gonna try that. Okay. We did it. So, um, I think they look pretty even. Sorry, the lighting's a little weird. But yeah, so this is Refi. 
I'll link um, the shop below if anyone's interested because I'm really happy with the product. Okay, I came out to my living room because I wanted to show you in some natural light. I think they're pretty even, which is like, that's the hardest part is getting your brows even. Um, but yeah, and I like how full they are. So yeah, we'll see how they wear throughout the day. Okay, on to the fun part. This is my off season wardrobe. Um, so every year, I've done this for uh, probably two-ish years, um, I tuck away my sweaters in the summer and then my lighter short sleeve clothes in the winter. And what I love about it is I kind of feel like I'm shopping my closet every time I open this tub um, because I forget about some of the stuff that I have. Uh, so and I just have them all like locked away in little Ziplocs. I know you can buy like, like space bags and I uh, will eventually invest in those, but that's it for now. So I'm just going to unpack this, decide if I've changed my mind on anything, if there's anything that I'm ready to part with, and then let everything sort of air out and get some, some fresh air <laughs> before I put it in my closet. Okay, we are done. So I emptied out all of my sweaters and my long sleeve shirts. Oh, I'm so glad that I went through this process before I went shopping because there's so much awesome stuff here and stuff that I forgot that I had, which is great. And I'm really excited to wear them now. I've got new energy. Um, so I'm gonna let these sit and just sort of air out a little bit while I brainstorm how to store them in my closet because I went through and I organized our closet um, based on our summer clothes, and so there isn't really space for sweaters. So I'm going to brainstorm how to make room for sweaters and tackle that later tonight. Okay, so I'm back. All of my special spring summer clothes have been put away in here. So I put them all in Ziploc bags and made sure they were sealed so that they're you know safe from moths and whatnot and then this is just a waterproof container but now my closet is ready for fall and winter i have added more of my long sleeves and special outerwear um got rid of anything that like screams summer that honestly it's like kind of distracting so anything in here i can wear in the fall or winter then over here sort of mixed so these are my current sweater collection and then my husband's stuff and then I've got my pants in these two so jeans and comfy pants and that kind of stuff all mixed together my boots and whatnot okay what is up long time no see for me not for you <laughs> so I hit up Dillard's and did a little shopping I wasn't like super enthused by anything that I saw I did pick up one thing that I am excited about and I'll show you, but I got everything put away in my closet and it's helped me identify a couple specific things missing for this season that I would like to purchase. So I'm gonna do some research and find some quality pieces that I think would be a good addition to my wardrobe, but mainly basics. Like I think I'm missing a lot of plain long sleeve layers. That's something that I would really like to add to my collection. It's been a really fun Saturday. I went and had dinner with friends and their family was in town, so I got to meet them and hung out with my mom for a little bit. And yeah, the house is really, really clean and organized. Oh, I love it. And tomorrow is going to be a fun fall filled day. And that's where I will bust out some of these fall recipes I've been talking about. I'm really excited to test them out. So let me show you what I got from Dillard's. I probably sat in the shoe section for like 20 minutes deciding whether or not I could pull these off, but I've always wanted a pair and I'm gonna figure out how to style them because I'm excited. I've always, always wanted a pair. That is, dun -da -da. Doc Martens. I love how people style these, but I put them on and I was like, I just don't know if I'm cool enough to pull these off. But the like chunky boot look is in this fall. So I think like now's the time. In high school, I was a combat boot girl. That was like 
my number one shoe and I'd wear them with skirts and dresses and I loved it so much. And then I got rid of those shoes and I'd never really replaced them. Um, they weren't Doc Martens though, so I'm pretty pumped about this. And I think they're gonna be a good winter shoe because the tread on them is awesome. But I got the Doc Martin Originals and they're pretty chunky, um, but they're cool, they're really cool. But yeah, so I'm really excited to style these for fall and winter and add them to my wardrobe. But that was my big purchase from Dillard's um, and I'm pretty pumped about it. So stay tuned for some creative outfits. <laughs> ready for the day and I tried out a couple outfits with my new Doc Martens. They're a little grunge but I feel like sometimes my like casual looks tend to go that way anyway so I don't know. Let me know what you think. Am I pulling these off? Um, I kind of think so but I also think it's like um, <clears throat> you know act confident and no one will question you so. <laughs> let me know what you think about the Doc Martens, if I'm styling them right, if you have suggestions um, or suggestions on like how to break them in faster. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty pumped about them. And the more I've researched outfits and stuff like that, the more people say they wear them all the time and that they're a great fall winter boot. So I'm pumped. Okay, take two, which is like an oversized t-shirt. I kind of think it works. This is a little more casual, a little easier. So, I think I'm gonna wear these uh, for the afternoon and try to break them in a little. Hello, we're back. Um, I spent the day Finishing up some chores. I just got back from the dog park with my mom and then I went to the grocery store. <clears throat> um, so now I'm going to, hey, you wanna be in the video? Hey. No, not interested. Hey, you got something you wanna say? Um, so now I am going to prep some stuff for dinner and then actually head over and eat dinner with her. So my husband is hunting, that's what happens when it's fall. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to try this recipe. It's like a harvest sheet pan meal. I'm gonna prep everything here and then just take it over to her house and cook it. Um, and then I'll come back later tonight and I really wanna try to make some pumpkin muffins. So that is the goal for the rest of the evening. Okay, I've got dinner all prepped and I'm ready to head over to my mom's. It's a harvest sheet pan dinner, but I wanna turn that into like a harvest grain bowl. And I took a recipe and then sort of ran with it in a different direction. So there's some stuff that's on the recipe and there's some stuff that's not. So I put sausage, um, a head of broccoli, a half a sweet potato, one apple and one yellow onion. And then I'm gonna make some quinoa and put it over the top of some baby kale. It called for this sauce, so I put it together and I think I'm gonna caramelize and cook all of the vegetables in this, but it's maple syrup, soy sauce, coconut aminos, oh, and um, Dijon mustard. So it, it tastes pretty good, so I think it'll be good. And I added a couple cloves of garlic.
after dinner, hanging out with Earl. I made that harvest sheet pan dish. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I was really worried it was going to be like too sweet, but it was a really good balance of salty and sweet and something I think I'm going to make again. It was really tasty. Um, and then came home and I've just been sitting here trying to find a recipe for some pumpkin muffins. Um, I think I found one that's going to work. It's a I want to make them vegan and gluten-free and I was kind of thinking I'd just like guesstimate a recipe. However, I found one that I think is going to work. So I'm going to test that one out. And this cutie's like holding my arm. Sweet boy. night um just making a cup of tea and then go to bed early um so i made these muffins they're a bit like rough and ready looking they're vegan and gluten free so i may have done a little too much pumpkin spice but i buttered them up mm. i put like a whole bunch of ginger in them too all right let's see pretty dang good all right, got my cup of tea and I am signing off here. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.